I was uh, maybe two, three. I went into foster care first. I was put in with um, two lovely ladies. Uh, they gave me everything. I still have pictures. And I was like, Diddy, and had my own shared. I, I loved everything about them. And if I could see them again, I'd say thank you because they really rescued me. And then in 2010, I lost my mother. Yeah, then we moved to my old placement. I've just been at. And they helped me for five years to teach me about being an adult. He helped me find my job. He's teaching me how to budget money, learning to cook for myself, learning to come home from a hard day at work going, I just want to go to bed. I've got to cook dinner. Um, he's telling me that gas is important, electricity is important, food is important. Make the room plain, uh, leave it empty, white walls, um, and make the child go in there and just be like, whatever you want, whatever style of room you want, we can make that happen. An understanding of who I am, person who helps me, doesn't just go, you're an adult now, I'm not gonna sort out your problems, help me. I don't want you to sort them out, I want you to help me. Well, I'm, I am, I finished my level one beauty last year. Uh, I'm now moving on to level um, two in a couple of weeks, so September. And then maybe the future, when I am a little bit older in my 20s or 30s, I might actually start my own makeup business and helping kids who have gone through what I've gone through and going, no, it does get better. You just have to see the better and what you can do. When I saw the better, I went, oh yeah, we can do this. When my mum passed away, I went into a deep depression. Ten-year-old went into a deep depression. Looking back now, and looking at myself in the mirror going, I'm going to level two beauty, what I never ever thought I could do because of my dyslexia. But I am doing it because I fought for that position and I went, you can't tell me no because of my dyslexia. Just looking at myself going, I thought I would never be in this position in my whole entire life, but I am. The people who helped me, have absolutely been brilliant. I, it, I, I thank them so much when I've, I've had people leave, um, but they haven't left and not left me anything. Just little things like building a Lego house. So they've built the wall, they've built the roof, they've built to make me now. And all I can do is keep on building onto that house and make it even bigger and better. any foster carers out there who want to become foster carers, um, who are training right now to be foster carers, that it's not all sunflowers and rainbows. And please don't think like, oh my God, it's gonna be brilliant. Because some, some days, it's really not. When they do move on, they come back to see you and you're like, oh my God, look at them, they've got their own child, they're, they're married, and you go to their wedding, and you go to their christening and all that. And you go, this child was broken when I saw them. And now look at them, they've got their whole entire family. That's my dream. And to leave something behind that people go, this man helped me through so much in my life. And I'll always love him for that. That's my dream.